Hi students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com So today I am going to discuss how you should start your preparation for IBPS PU mains interviews. So first of all I congratulate all of you who have cracked your mains exams. So how you should start your preparations. In the interviews basically four types of questions are asked. The first one the personal questions like why why you want to enter the banking industry what do your father do what does your father do or you know uh, what is your work experience these are some personal questions that the interview the in, the interview panel is going to ask you these are the personal questions the second one is about uh, current affairs so you need to read the newspaper for the for the day of the interview the d day and for the last few weeks very important you need to read about the current affairs and the third part is the banking you need to read about how rbi works what is the location of uh, if you are having an interview at uh, you know if the one of the person from the interview panel has had worked on uh, in the pnb of bank of baroda he might ask uh, what is the location of head office of bank of baroda who is the current cmd of bank of baroda so these are the few basic questions about banking i am going to discuss about those questions in detail and the last one is about normal gk so the syllabus of gk is really very vast but i am going to discuss few questions your few points along with the answers the first question why you want to enter the banking industry so there is no you know tailor made answer for that particular question why do you want to ask yourself why do you want to enter this industry why you why do you want to enter the banking industry if you are an engineer why banking why not a big civil engineering firm or you know real estate company why banking you can make more money in other sector why this particular banking industry a, a good answer can be i i love to help people i i wanted to work for the banking industry it's a i see a lot of growth potential in this industry you know i want to be a scale man officer and within next 2 or 3 years i want, i see myself on scale 2 within scale 3 you can you know make your answers in in this part, in this path so that is my answer your answer can be bit dif- uh, different you can if your father or mother is in banking industry you can say that uh, we people are having a stable life stable lifestyle you know i like stability i so i want to enter the banking industry so many of you are not working from last 5 6 months or one year because you are preparing for that particular ibps po exam or sba po exam so you are not working interview interviewer is going to ask you why you are not working from last 6 months or 1 year or 2 year your answer should be like if it depends it depends upon the time period in which you were unemployed yeah that is an employed word is there if that period is like 6 months 7 months up to 1 year be honest like uh, i was preparing for the ibps pu exam it is a difficult exam i need to prepare for that so i can't prepare for the exam while doing a job so a dedicated preparation plan was required that's why i left my job you know i didn't appear for the you know campus placement interview so that's why i was unemployed from last one year or six months but if you are unemployed for more than one year i ask you why i mean and i was there are people who are you know unemployed from who are not working at all from last two years three years that is not right right do some job at least right for us i think you have a lot of experience right for us you can you know teach the students you can take tuitions at home you can you know do any part time job you should work actually 
I don't think if you are, uh, you know, if you are not working from last three, four years, three years, there are people, there are a lot of people who are not working from last three, four years, even four years. So there is no specifically for the male candidates. It's a very bad, bad point from your part. If you are a female, then there are kind of there are points that my parents didn't allow me to, you know, opt for a small uh, private sector unit or, you know, I got married or I had kids. You have a, a very strong points. Now the next question. Can you shift to another another city? Your answer should always be yes. Never say no. If you say no, they are going to fail. No matter what, it is not in your hand. Say yes, I can shift to any other city in India. Next question. If you are already working in some uh, private organization, then the interviewer is going to ask you why you want to leave your previous job and why you are why you want to join this PSU, public, uh, that this, uh, why you want to join a public sector bank. You should have a strong answer. You can never say like, you know, there is a, lo a lot of uh, workload or no, I need to work a lot. You need to work a lot in that in the bank. Let me make it very clear. If you are saying like uh, I got a I got frequent transfers, you can't say like that because you are going to get a lot of transfers in the in the banks as well. In the first few years, in the first two years, you are going to get at least two or three transfers. I have seen not at least some people get two or three. Some people are there who never, who never get any transfer. So that is the point. Why you, why you left your previous job? Um, a good answer can be um, again. I see a better job prospects in the banking industry. There is a lot of growth potential in the banking industry. Then there are questions like, what do your, what does your father do? And why don't you join your father's business? If your father is a, bu a businessman, then why don't you join your father's business? Why do you want to join this banking industry? Because what they think like, uh, if your father is already making a good amount of money, you are going to join the bank. But after a few months, you will feel like I can make more money in my father's business. Why should I join this bank? Because bank is spending a lot of money on your training. Then he's for the first one year, you are not going to work a lot because it is your learning phase. So bank is spending a lot on you, at least like six, seven lakh rupees on each employee. So if you are leaving the bank after one year, then the bank need to do that all the whole procedure again. It need to, you know, con it need, need to go to the IBPS, then again give more vacancies and then you know, the same procedure is going on and more people are going for the training and all. So they don't want such people. If your father is having a good business, then just be pessim pessimistic about your father's business. Don't be, you know, don't brag about your father's business that my father is having a house or a, a unit, a big unit. He's making the, his turnover is like two crore rupees or three crore rupees. Uh, don't use such phrases or such words. Then I think there are a lot, a lot of personal questions. I'm not going to, you know, explain the answers of those questions. You can answer those, you can ask the answers about those questions in the comment section. But let me tell you the, the questions that the interviewer ask. It's like, why, why you actually, you know, why you're leaving your company, why you want to change the department right now you are working in a sales and marketing why you want to enter into back office or uh, operating you know operating part or there are a lot of personal questions out there a lot because you should be you should be ready to answer those questions a lot of questions are there so i think that's all about the personal questions the next one is about banking very important so uh, there are few repeated questions that the interviewers ask in the interviews. The normal questions are the basic tools in the hands of RBI that are the CRR, SLR, or it's like those open market operation. They are going to ask about what is CRR 
and what is the current rate how it impacts our economy how it impacts the inflation they are going to ask those questions in depth they are going to ask what is bank rate what is the current bank rate and how the bank rate bank rate is determined these are the the first part the first common question what are the various tools in the hands of rbi i'm giving a link in the description you can click that link to open the full fledged article about the various tools in the hands of rbi so that's the first part then they are going to ask like in the in banking part what are the various acts you know in the banking industry there is like banking regulation act then rbi act fema para then surface act then they are going to ask you about that the second important part the various acts that is the second important part then third one is that about npa and most of the exam, uh, most of the interviews they are going to ask you uh, the definition of an npa you know there is a specific definition if they if the if a borrower do, or doesn't pay within for 90 days there are you know standard assets loss assets doubtful assets npa so you need to learn about that i need, i'm giving a, a link in the description about what are npas then i am also giving a link about surface act how it actually works you know so basically the uh, the main point of surface act is like if the borrower is not paying the money you know, if there is a npa the bank can take over the mortgaged assets without the intervention of court so that is a basic uh, tip a basic fact about the surface act i'm giving a, a link to the detailed description about this act and the next part is very important question repeated in almost all the interviews like what are the various uh, risk that are faced by a bank uh, interest rate risk is there liquidity risk is there as of now they are facing the liquidity risk interest rate risk liquidity risk you know credit risk there are four risk are there i am giving a link in the description what are the various risk that a bank faces then there uh, the various investment plans are uh, available with the banks you need to they may ask you about what is the difference between a pf and a, and the ppf you know ppf is a very important topic it is under atc interest is the interest earned in the ppf plan is you know tax free under section atc so these are the basic questions and then you may go further about about markets it's like what is sensex how it is calculated it is very important the the formula it is known as a free float market capitalization method very important word very important phrase that which formula is used to calculate the value of sens sensex so you need to read about the various investments under the section atc many students have you know reported that uh, the interview ask about list us give, give us the 10 investments under the section atc there are fixed deposit of 5 years ppf equity mutual fund lss epf vpf ulips and nps a pension plans life insurance there are many investment in the section atc you need to read about at least 10 the post of schemes are not there it should be here so read about them so npa i have already explained what are npa then you need to read about rbi very important very important point that what are the various functions of rbi what are the various tools in the hands of rbi it is like banker of banker they maintain the liquidity maintain uh, you know regulate the country's financial system regulates the the foreign exchange in the country you need to read about that then you you need, you need to read about the head offices the you know cmds of all the uh, public sector and private sector banks of india they may ask you about who is the cmd of uh, hdfc bank where is the headquarter of pnb situated you know situated they are the basic questions then read about irda sebi their powers and then what are their functions their authorities you need to read about them then uh, we were in the market stock market options it is a very important topic most of the people the people in the interview panel the those people are retired 
and they are about to retire they have a lot of money and they invest a lot of money in the market so that is in their brain and they ask a lot about the stock markets so they are going to ask you about what are you know what is the full form of uh, dmat account what what are derivatives very important what are options what are call options put options they are going to ask you about these simple questions don't go in depth but you should know about what is a call option what is a put option they are not expecting you to give a d in depth answer they they assume that you know what is call option and what is put option and you should know what is the current uh, current index value of sensex what is the value of sensex today please before going to the your interview read about the value of sensex today in that day and the value of gold value of silver value of nft nasdaq just read about those indexes before going to the interview then in the economics part there will be like what is gdp gnp what is monetary policy fiscal policy fiscal deficit they are going to ask you about these questions then i think these are from the banking part of the general awareness part but the most important part in the current affairs in the current affairs part you need to read about what are the various you know current topics in the banking industry very important as of now demonetization is very important they are the those bankers they are very much interested in discussing about the demonetization the wallets the digital wallets the digital payments they are going to discuss about what is a wallet how there is a you know you need to read about the various terms various policies about the digital payments given by the rbi you now rbi release a particular uh, uh, but, uh the rules and regulations for the e wallets for the payment bank you need to read about the payment banks very important topic very hot topic as of now what are the various limitations for the payment bank how much they can you know uh, the maximum limit for the payments bank who got the licenses there are, i think 11 com- 9 or 11 companies got the licenses that airtel vodafone idea even those like paytm those people got the licenses you need to read about those uh, those companies very important they may ask you about that and further for the e wallets the mobile wallets they are they may ask you about what are the various wallets that are available in the market how you pay you know how you can make the secure transaction and also one more important point how to make secure transactions online you know what are the various steps you take before making the online transactions i hope you are aware about these if you are watching this video i hope that you know that there is an H- that it should be https or it's like my site is not https as of now but you should be aware about the various uh, various things to make a secure transaction online as of now the transaction in india are already you know very secured so secured where you are getting an otp on your mobile and then there are password you need to change them regularly the bank the sites of banks are very secure i'm not sure about the wallets but wallets are also secure so you need to read about all these facts as of now so I, we have covered the the personal questions the banking questions and even the current affairs in the current affairs read about the banking i have already explained that you can little bit read about the other current affairs right uh, whatever in the sports is there if you it's like there is a chain of questions if they are asking you about uh, tell me something about yourself if you say that like you know i love to play cricket then they are going to ask you about cricket you know the first line whenever you go for a interview in the bank the ibps interview when they ask you tell me something about yourself whatever you say in those two lines the whole of the interview is going to revolve around those two lines they are you know the game maker they can make it or they can break it <clears throat> if you are saying like you know i love to read books so the next question the obvious question will be like uh, name few previous the books that you have uh, you know recently gone through you, you have purchased or read <clears throat> then if you if you are lying then 
it will be a big problem but if you say like i love to read books and you don't have if you say like i gone through some chetan bhagat books then the next question should be so tell me the names of chetan bhagat books or if you say about ravinder singh's book or if they are a kushwan singh okay tell me the name uh, uh, five tell me the name of five books of Rav- kushwan singh's books <coughs> so you should know what you are speaking be aware about what you are speaking if you are if you like don't say like i love to i love web surfing that is not a skill that is not a hobby don't say like i love to chat on facebook i love to chat on whatsapp they do, they are not looking for people who you know who who are chatting all day who are, who just love to surf web they are looking for some intellectually strong some intelligent people if you are not one of them they are going to reject you so you sh- first of all be prepared for your first three lines tell me something about yourself and i think you are the best person who can who can give the answer of this question tell me something about yourself you can in the comment you can uh, comment with this question tell me something about yourself so see you in the comments tell me something about yourself have a nice day please subscribe press this red button please subscribe and like this video have a nice day bye